discuss this i've told you i'm going to get married once i i find the love of my life carol as your mom i'm telling you your standards for men are too high hmm? chief douglas's son makes the cut and you know it i don't know what else you want okay mommy can we talk about this when i see you later in the evening honey please just give this young man a chance huh? he has proven to be serious so i'm coming to the house Okay, darling. Your father and I will be waiting. I'll prepare your favorite meal. <laughs> I love you. Okay? Bye. Bye, my angel. Sweetheart, mm? what did she say? She said she'll stop by later. Mm. I have a feeling she'll say yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love that. Where are you off to? To the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> ah, women. Interesting. Honey, what if she gives excuses as usual? Sweetheart, we have to be positive. Hmm? She has no reason to reject Chief Douglas's son's marriage proposal. Sweetheart, you don't seem to understand how stubborn your daughter can be. <laughs> don't worry. Hmm? I'm sure it will work this time. Hello, darling. Huh? What's that? Hello, 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 hello. Uh, what? Where? I'll be there now. Sweetheart, just hold this. Let me get the key. Let me get the cat to be there. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Doctor, what I saw there is, is very critical. Yes, she sustained serious injuries on her head. And. See, I I'm thinking, should we fly her abroad? There will be no need for that, sir, because we've done all the best we can. Now all we can do is wait and pray. Doctor, please. Please do everything possible. I've, I've lost one child. I can't lose another one. I promise you, ma'am, we'll do our best. Please put yourself together, please. <laughs>
Your daughter's case is a case of amnesia, a total memory loss as a result of the injury she sustained on her head due to the accident. Yeah. So, so that, 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 oh my God, oh my God. Is, is that, so, doctor, let me get this straight. Does that mean she will have to start learning things all over again, like a toddler, you know, like a child? Um, right now, sir, we can't ascertain the level of damage yet. In some cases, patients suffer from partial amnesia. They tend to remember their basic learning, like things around them, but forget information about their lives. So, and, uh, will this be temporary or will it be permanent? Well, in some cases, it's temporary. Patients regain their memory after a few days. Some last longer than expected, <sighs> while some patients do not recover, recover at all. Hey. So for now, we can't tell. <sighs> but I promise you, we are doing all our best. Hey. Hey. It's all right, sweetheart. It's OK. Hey. I mean, it's one kind of society these days, but we're taking good care of her. We're trying to success Wow, wow, that's good. Doctor, you asked to see me. Yes, please sit. So, Ma, your doctor is getting stronger physically, and we may be discharging her soon. But, but she doesn't remember anything yet. The more reason why we should discharge her and try something more effective. And um, meet Dr. Kazim Ibrahim, a psychotherapist, and I believe he's the best man for the job. Psycho? But she's not crazy. They don't only treat mental disorders, and Dr. Kazim here has handled so many amnesia cases successfully, and he's an expert. So I believe we hope your daughter gets better. So. Dr. Kazim, Carol's mom, and you can take it from there. Vital information from her past. Mm -hmm. Things like photos, favorite music, books, 
symbols and everything. That won't be a problem. Very well. I'll see you on Monday then. Uh -huh. Do you think she'll be all right? Yeah. All right, take care. All right. It's okay.
Excuse me, I'm not joking with you. Stop. Stop. Ow, ow. Stop. 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 Don't follow me. It's okay. It's okay. Are you right? See, if I need to go upstairs, okay. Let me take you. You need to rest. Huh? Sorry. sibling love as strong as theirs. His death was a huge loss. It was devastating for her. How did he die? His fiance killed him. have the details yet because she disappeared into thin air after the incident. The police have been on the hunt for her for eight months now. That's crazy. I'm sorry. But how could she kill the man she loved? The same question I've been asking. They were so much in love. They were planning to get married. I'm so sorry for your loss, ma'am. Thank you. Well, how does this information help Carol get her memory back? Like I said before, madam, um, your late son seems to be your daughter's trigger. She gets these migraines each time she sees his picture. So I would love to know everything there is to know about him. I'm not surprised. Like I said, they were very close. Melvin. Melvin was an easygoing young man. <laughs> His favorite color was blue. And he liked to eat a lot, and I was happy to cook for him. It's okay. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. I'm, yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ouch! Oh, Ouch! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I should be apologizing. Uh, I should have watched what I was doing. I'm so sorry. Um, sorry. Uh, I should help you with all that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We really shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree. Uh, uh, oh. This belongs to you. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. My name is Melvin, by the way. Uh, can't say. Kamsi, that's a beautiful name for a beautiful woman. Mm. Is that a pickup line you use to get ladies? Is it working? Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> then that's not my pickup line. <laughs> um, you work here? Yeah, um, actually no. I'm just an external auditor from another firm. Ooh. Oh, my clumsiness didn't get the company in trouble. No. As a matter of fact, you're not even clumsy. Ah, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, you know what, I'll be coming here from time to time, so uh, I uh, do hope to see you around. Okay, I'll see you then. Alright. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Hey. hey you. What's up? I'm fine. I'm doing amazing. Yeah, thank you. <sighs> I did not know you were here. Yeah, I know. Well, I was just hanging around uh, 
and I decided to come pick you up. Now oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> so tell me, hmm. how was work today? Same old, same old. Nothing different. So, um, <clears throat> would you like to uh, hang out with me? Maybe unwind a little bit? <laughs> Mr. Melvin, are you asking me out on a date? Would that be such a bad thing? Well, not when you're acting like it's a favor. Oh. Hang out. <laughs> or why? Who says that? Ouch. <laughs> now that's all me. Okay. Princess Kanzi. Mm -hmm. It should really be such a great honor mm -hmm. if you would agree to go out with me on a date today. Please. Say please again. Please. Again. Please. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes, let's go. All right, so. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, Detective, what's the situation of finding my son's killer? Our search for Miss Kamsi continues. And I'm so sorry we've not been able to find her. But I assure you, we are doing our best, sir. How incompetent can the police be? My son's murderer has been on the loose for eight months. Eight months! And all you can say is, uh, we are doing our best. Your best is simply not good enough. I understand how you feel, madam. But I assure you, we will find her. Feel. You do that, detective. Else I'll make sure there's no job for you to go back to. Well, detective, done. Um, I'm being angry. Uh, my wife is hurt. Uh, no, she's not happy. I understand that, sir. Sir, I want to make you a promise. We will give justice to your late son, sir. Well, I'm well, looking forward to that. I should be on my way, sir. It's okay. The, my boy would see you out of the gate. Thank you, sir. All right. Bye now. You take care. And I'm expecting results, okay? This is just useless, okay? Hey, hey, hey. I can't remember anything. It's alright. Why can't I remember anything? Don't be too hard on yourself, Liz. You're doing the best you can. You know, you are saying this because you're trying to make me feel better. Look, I can't remember anything about my life. Anything about my life before this accident. I look at my parents and, and I see the hurt in their eyes because I look at them like strangers. I just want to remember. I want to remember the memories that we shared together. Listen, Carol. I'm sure your parents know that it is as hard for you as it is for them. Why? Why can't I remember anything? You will. You will in time. Your determination will get us through. Right now, all we need to do is to find that tiny crossroad. And I'll be here to help you every step of the way. Thank you, Kay. For what? For being caring. You know, you're the only person I can trust. 
thank you. I'm just, I'm just doing my job. Thank you still. You said something about crossroads. What does that mean? It's a trigger. What triggers your brain into remembering or trying to remember? Okay. You know what? Come with me, come. What is this about? The last time we were here and you saw your brother's photo, something happened. Look, I told you, they're just flashes, echoes and images, nothing more. But this could just be the crossroads we are looking for. Just try. L look, I, I know that you're trying to help me. I'm beginning to think that my memories are not going to come back. Don't say that, Carol dear. Don't say that, please. Wait, what did you call me? Carol dear. I like that very much. Listen, um, I know you're scared. I know you're angry, but I want you to know that I know exactly how it feels to lose something integral, something that was like a part of you. Um, I also want you to know that you're not alone in this. You have the love of your parents. You have me. And, um, you're going to get through this. Just try. Ah! What? What? Ah! Are you okay? Ah! Sorry, sorry. Easy, easy. easy. Ah! Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Huh? Okay, sit down. Just sit down. Okay. Don't, don't, don't. Uh, sit. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Sit. Come, 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 come. Sit, sit, sit. Sit. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Sit, sit. Sit down. Ah. Uh. Just make sure you take your medication. Alright? I will. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Um, Kay? Yeah. What you said inside about losing someone, knowing how it feels to lose someone. Mm -hmm. Did you lose anybody or did you lose your memory? No, no. I, I was actually talking about my ex. Oh. Yeah, I was head over heels in love with her. Okay. Well, she cheated on me. Apparently I wasn't good enough for her because she left me to be with the other guy. So. That must hurt. Yeah. But you know what? It's her loss. No girl in her right senses will lose a man like you. Thank you. I'm so sorry. No, I, that's I, fine. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know what you... I'll see you tomorrow, all right, okay? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right.
Hi. Hi. May I come in? Sure. Can you remember anything yet? No. You know, I'm so sorry to disappoint you. Just, oh no, dear. Don't ever think like that. I'd rather you are alive and don't remember me than dead. Your father and I are most grateful that you're still here with us. Thank you for saying that. Look, if your memories don't come back, we'll make new memories together. <laughs> I saw you with Kazim earlier today. You like him, don't you? Well, he's a wonderful person. And I feel very safe around him. What? <laughs> that spark in your eyes. I've never seen it before. I've never heard you talk about any man this way. Why is that? I mean, did I have a bad breakup or something? No, it's... You just never actually had a real boyfriend before. You've always been so serious with studies and work. Look at that. If Kazim makes you happy, you have my full support. Thank you, mommy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he does make me happy. He does. Nothing I won't do for you, baby. You came like an angel, baby. You're the special woman I need. You meant the world to me. There you go. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I had a lot of fun today. And I'm glad I was able to put a smile on your pretty face. You're such a smooth talk. Isn't that why you love me? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, detective, I'd like to uh, hey, thank you so much. I appreciate your effort in finding the killer. Uh, thank you. Um, no, there's nothing else you could have done. You've done your best. Thank you so much. 
Yes, I, I'll greet her. I'll greet her. Thank you. So bye now. Okay. Who was that? The detective in charge of your brother's case. Mm. I hope there's, uh, everything is all right. No, everything is not all right. Uh, they assume the murderer is dead. Yeah. Dead? How can that be? No. They're telling us that they found some of her things uh, on the site of the murder, uh, including her identity card or something like that. Yeah, but that's no guarantee that she's dead. I agree so with you, dead. really. But they've been searching for this murderer for the past eight months. So if she was alive, they would have found her. I won't get justice for my son's death. Oh, dear. I wish Melvin had listened to you about that camp seeker. What do you mean? You kept saying that um, there was something off with her, but Melvin was too blinded by love and he didn't listen. It's all right, my dear, it's all right. It's okay, it's okay. Please Madam, um, I'm really sorry, but I think maybe it's for the best that this happened. Yes, because you would heal faster if you didn't have to stir your son's murderer in the face. I guess you're right. Look at me. I got carried away. I forgot to ask you how your date went. Mm. <laughs> it was amazing. Mm. <laughs> you told me all about it. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, Kazin is such a thoughtful person. Mm. Yeah. Yes, such a gentle one. Oh. <laughs> Oh, damn, you're so beautiful. I mean, I get so fueled by merely staring at you. I guess I must have done something right. And that explains how lucky I am to have you in my life. Are we going to eat this food? Or would you keep flattering me with the best and sweetest words? <laughs> you didn't even tell me you know how to cook this well. Oh, yeah, I try. I mean, growing up, my parents were usually on business trips and um, we didn't have any helper. So I had to step up for myself and my sister. Wait, wait, wait a minute, hold up. I just complimented you. I told you you're the most beautiful woman in the entire <laughs> world and you're mostly concerned about my cooking progress. Come on. <laughs> okay, you're such a drama king. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you been all my life? You know, I never ever thought that I would ever feel this way because of a woman. Thank you so much for giving me a chance to love you. And I promise I will love you like no man has ever had. Oh, Haru, you're back early today. Yes, my last meeting cancelled. Oh. Who is this? Um, oh, yeah, um, by the way, uh, this is Kamzi, my girlfriend. And um, Kamzi, my sister, Karo dear. Karo. Hi, nice to meet you, Karo dear. I've heard so much about you. Karo. Excuse me? My name is Carol. Only my brother calls me Carol, dear, and you're not him. Oh, Carol, Carol. Carol, wait! I have a feeling your sister doesn't like me. No, 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 no. Don't say that. I mean, you both of them barely know each other. Hmm. Don't pretend like you can't see how cold she was towards me. She couldn't even hide it. Well, the thing is, my sister may be overly protective of me. She's not just used to seeing women around her. 
Hmm. Like you didn't have girlfriends. Well, I did, but not as much as other guys. I really don't need you to be bothered about my sister, okay? In due time, both of you will get to know each other better and you will get along with each other. Alright? I hope so. I know so. I can obviously see that she's a big part of your life and I wouldn't want to compete with that. Don't say that. Come, come. No one is ever going to be a competition. Alright? And that's because I love you. From the very depth of my heart. I am all yours. Promise? I promise. I believe you. So, let's get back to eating. Yes. Yeah, so what were we saying? Hmm, how amazing you are at cooking. And next time we're cooking together. <laughs> I'm trying to make spaghetti. Spaghetti again? I'm so tired of spaghetti. Can't we do something else? Okay, fine. Make your food yourself. Come on, Carol. What? You're supposed to take care of me. Feed me. Am I your slave? Why are you doing this? Am I your slave? No, no, no. I'm just asking. Stop. stop See, stop. leave me. I'm not joking with you. Stop. Stop. Ow, ow. Stop. Stop. Oh, stop. No, don't follow me. Stop. Look at me. I'm, I'm going out. You drenched my shirt already. Carol. Caro! Caro! Caro, what was that you displayed to my guest? You know you should learn how to knock. I introduced my girlfriend to you, and all you could do was ignore her completely as if she was invisible? <laughs> girlfriend! Do you know how many girlfriends you brought into this house? And we both know how it ended, right? Caro, this one is different, okay? I love Kamsi, and I think she's the one. Same thing you said about Vicky, Sonia, Rachel. Or oh, should I go on? People know you are distracted from exactly what you want. Kara, I am not having this argument today. Then don't! Stay away from her. I do not like her. She, her energy is off. There's something off about her. But you don't even know her. Why don't you just give Kamzi a chance? I promise you, you will like her. I can never like her. Can you leave my room? I am tired. I've had a long day. Kara, don't be like this. You promised. Fine, let's talk about it later. Leave my room. Alright. Okay.
What's wrong? Yeah. Please call cousin. Yeah. Okay, I will. I will. Take care of her. Take her to the chair. I'm coming now. Take her to the chair. Yeah. Yeah. screamed from the room, ran downstairs and found her on the floor. Yeah, she had a panic attack. It happens when patients in her condition try to forcefully trigger memories, especially memories that caused them pain in the past. So. My poor baby. Will, will she be all right? Oh yeah, she'll be fine. Like I said, it's totally normal. It's a panic attack. There's nothing normal about this cousin. Look at my daughter. It's all right, sweetheart. It's all right. Put yourself together. I believe our daughter will be all right. She will be fine. I can't, I can't stay here anymore. Can you take me to your home? I, 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 I don't want to stay here. I don't want to. I can't stay. It's okay. It's okay. I don't, let me get some of these. I don't want to stay here. I don't want to stay here. I don't want to stay here. Don't bring your things so we can go. Yes. Hey, Mom. Oh. Hi, baby. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Um, Mom. I just wanted to apologize about how I left the other day. Oh, I'm no, sorry. no, no, dear. No, you don't need to apologize. I understand that Kazim is your safe place, and I won't get in the way of that. Hmm? Thank you, Mom. Speaking of Kazim, where is he? Um, he's in the living room with Dad, oh, speaking to Dad. Awesome. Mom, I wanted to ask you something. What is it? Was I there when Melvin died? I mean, how did it happen? No, you, you, you weren't there. You, you were in Abuja on a trip with your father. Oh. But why do you ask? Mama, I just have flashing images in, in my head. It feels like a dream. Hmm. Honestly, I... I don't understand. And I keep asking myself, how are we so sure that his so-called fiancé was the one who murdered him? His body was found in her house. And she was nowhere to be found. Who else would have done it? I don't know. I, don't, I am very confused. But you said I didn't like her. Did I tell you why? You kept trying to say that there was something off about her. And, but look, you shouldn't bother about all this. Hmm? You should be trying to get better and not bothering yourself about all these details. Hmm? Right. Thank you, Mom. Okay. Uh, let me help you. I'm almost done. It's ready. I can help you with the plate. Just say you want me to give you meats. I'll give you meats. Meats, yes. <laughs> um, come see. Yes, sir. Where do you come from? Or bar in Anambra State. But I grew up in Lagos. Really? Yes, sir. That was interesting. My son tells us that you work with a bricks firm as an accountant. Is that true? Yes, sir. Hmm. That's, that's really good. Thank you, sir. Are you going to tell my brother what you did to get that job? Uh, I don't understand. 
Are you going to tell him that you slept with the branch manager to get the job? Carol! Mom, let her hey. answer the question. You weren't thinking about me. And I found you out. Hmm. Did you also find out that I started working in that company long before the said branch manager? Oh, please. And that we started dating months after he started working with us. <laughs> he got transferred to Abuja and we broke up. Your brother knows about it. Don't you know, darling? Yes, I do, darling. Mm. And by the way, Caro, mind your own business. I was only looking out for you. Hmm. <laughs> We're at table manners. Hmm? Let's get back to our food before it gets cold. <laughs> All right. Yeah, eat, eat, eat. eat. Enjoy the meal. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. <clears throat> Enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Go on. Hi. Hi yourself. My brother is not around. I know. I came to see you. Huh. For what? Um, please, can you sit down? Let's talk. Huh. This better be important because I don't have all day. I'm listening. Well, um, your dress is beautiful. Is that why we're here? Please go to the chase. We are not friends. Harry, is there a particular reason why you don't like me? I really want us to be friends. You and I can never ever be friends. Okay? I, I do not like you and I don't need a reason to. I love your brother. Just give us a chance. I promise you, when we get to know each other, we can be okay, friends. Okay, let me make this very simple for you. I know that you're a gold digger, searching for where to dig your claws into. And my brother is off limit. Look, you're simply not good enough. Okay? Her. You're a woman, <laughs> just like me. Wow. We should be working together, not tearing each other down. Oh, wow, motivational speaker. Wow. You and my brother will never, ever work. So stop. Stop, okay? It's not going to work. Now leave our house. Carol, please. Please, just hear me out. Get out. But really, you I think are a gold digger. You Get us, give. Okay. Carol, bye. You are awake. May the gods be praised. Ah, ah, no, relax, relax, relax. You are still in pain. Relax. Eh? Relax. Uh -huh. Relax. Oh, thank God you are awake. Ah, ah. Finally. Kamsi. Eh? What did, what did you say? My name is Kamsi. Aha. <laughs> You are alive and well. Eh? I will call no city to come and attend to you. My name is Kayode. Yes. Relax. Eh? You are in safe hands. <laughs> Thank God. Umbo. Hey, Ile. Well, I thank God you are alive. I thank God you are at least able to come back to life. You went through a lot. Too. Even me that was taking care of you, I passed through a lot. Spent money. Anyway, but the thing now is, what do we do? What do you intend to do? Because the police are seriously looking for you. <laughs> I mean, 
they accused me of killing my fiance, my Melvin. I loved him. He was the love of my life. I was ready to do anything for him. I was ready to stick by him. How can I kill him? This is kind of I must get justice for me. Oh yeah. Kara was so ghost god free. I must get justice for my baby. You will get justice. <laughs> you will. <laughs> you see, when I saw you by the river bank, you were gone. You were almost dead. But I decided to bring you back home here and take care of you. Got medical attention for you here. Yeah. Because I even wanted to, you know, hand you over to the police until I saw your picture with the news on my uh, uh, neighbor's daughter's phone saying that you killed your fiance and, and ran away. That was when I knew something was wrong. And I prayed. <laughs> And the Holy Ghost said, uh, you have a case to defend yourself. That is why I made this effort. <laughs> Thank God you are alive now. So this is the time to defend yourself. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much. Let us thank the God. God went to us. Let us thank God. <laughs> Mr. Kai. Let us thank God. Don't God cry. Bless don't, cry. You. don't cry. You see, don't cry. The Lord has done it. Hmm? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's okay. It's okay. Relax. You still need some rest. Well, we must get justice for me. You will get justice. Please. You will get justice. You just need to report to the police. Don't worry. Just rest. Let me see what I can do. <laughs> because the drug that Nocity gave you, you need food for it. Eh? I will prepare something like a fish, <laughs> fish and yam. I think you will like it. I'm coming. <laughs> Yes, we have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He asked for your permission to propose to Carol. Mm -hmm. What did you say? I gave him the permission. Kazim is a good man. Mm. And I think um, Carol loves him. Mm. <sighs> so my daughter will get married. <sighs> At last. I only wish Melvin were alive to see this day. I do too. You know, sometimes I think he's in one of these his numerous trips abroad and that he will soon come back. I miss him so much. You know, sometimes I see him in my dreams. Angels don't die, do they? Angels don't die. Are you all right? Eh? Why have you not slept? You sleep. How can I be all right? Hmm? Who will wake up from a coma after three months to an accusation of them killing their fiance? Why the real killer is still roaming around freely and be all right? How can I be all right, sir? I'm sorry. I think my question was very insensitive. I'm, I'm sorry. 
I went off on you. I'm sorry. No, I, I shouldn't no. have gone off on you like that. I, that was harsh. No, no, no. I'm just tired. I'm just, I'm just confused. I'm, I'm frustrated. I understand. I... I understand. Really. You see, the thing is, how far have you gone? Because you cannot remain hiding here forever. Huh? You're right. I, I, I cannot keep hiding forever. I have to do something. But I have to be conscious as well. I have to be very careful. The people I'm up against, they are very powerful people. They can get rid of me with a snap of their finger like this. I understand. So I, 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 I'm just scared. I, yeah, right. I have to be careful. Even with the fact that a lot of things have been done shabbily in this country, one needs to be very careful. Mm. But notwithstanding, I still have some um, belief in the Nigerian police force. Some of them, they still have some good onions. And I believe um, some of them want to stand in for justice. So I think we can see just them, you know. Uh, uh, moreover, even the family that is involved, they deserve to know the truth. Yes. They deserve to know the truth. So let's make haste. Huh? Let's make haste. Yes. You're we very right, sir. Right I have to do something. Yes, have I have to. to let the family know. Yes. Sir. So she wouldn't go and punish. You're right. But thank you. Sir, thank you so much. Ah. I don't know where, what I would have done without you. I don't know where I would have been. Let us stand. You are my savior on earth. <laughs> God will bless you, sir. Thank you so much. Good. Let us stand good. Thank huh? you. Let us stand good. I will be going to rest now. Hmm? Okay. So try and catch some sleep. It's very important. <laughs> okay? Try. And catch I've been sleeping for three months now. <laughs> <laughs> I've slept all the sleep I can sleep in this life. Uh, I am sleepless right now. This is a sleepless vessel. I have no sleep left in me. I'll I just understand. lie down here. All the same. I will yeah. see you. I'll see you. I'll see you. I'll see you. I'll see you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I thought I found love in you. I thought I found everything I need. There's nothing I won't do for you. Baby, you came like an angel, baby. You're the special woman I need. You meant the world to me. Oh, but I know. Hurry up, he will soon be here. The food is ready. Oh, really? <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. My darling is looking so <laughs> elegant. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe my daughter is getting... <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> You're so beautiful, dear. You just get more beautiful every day. Thank you, Mom. Mom, Dad, eh. you're acting weird. <laughs> uh, you made me dress up, wear makeup. Mm. Are we having a party? Or are we... Is somebody else visiting us apart from Kazim? Uh, no. no. We just... We just <laughs> want you to look beautiful, dear. You know, we want Kazim to know how beautiful you are. <laughs> Mommy, he does. Uh. He knows I'm beautiful. Uh, Stop fussing, uh, okay? <laughs> it's almost there. Oh, oh, I get it all. Okay. It must be him. <laughs> uh, yeah, hold on. <laughs> Detective, what are you doing here? You never told me you were coming to my house. I'm sorry I come in unannounced, sir. But there's a serious development. So what's the matter? Captain? Detective, you told me this swine was dead. Well, we were wrong, sir. Ah, Captain.
standing in my house after murdering my son? So this is my late brother's fiancée, the one who murdered him? How dare you step foot into our home after murdering my brother? Dictator Vasaj told me that you lost your memory, but I did not think it was this bad. <clears throat> now, Detective, since this lady is not dead, why is this maggot not in jail? Because I did not kill your son, sir. You should have died in that accident. What? Memory loss, that is way too small of a punishment for you. After destroying my life and ruining my relationship. What exactly are you talking about? What? What are you doing here? My man lives here. I thought I told you to stay the hell away from my brother. Well, your brother, not your man. <laughs> Karen, what is your problem? What are you protecting Melvin from? He's a man and he can take care of himself. I have every right to hoot Melvin sees or not. Because Melvin and I... Stay away from my brother. He's going to use you and dump you. He doesn't love you. And I will Stay the hell away from Let my him brother. make that decision himself. What is going on here? Ask your cheapskate prostitute. <laughs> Carol. I'm in the car. Carol. Kamsi. 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 I want to ask you a question. Go on. And if you love me as much as you said that you do, you will answer me honestly. Kamsi, what is it? Are you sleeping with your sister? Why would you even ask a question like that? I am a woman. And I know how a woman behaves when she's in love. And as much as this is disgusting, I have no excuse. So please answer me honestly. Are you having an affair with your sister? Uh, um, um, baby, I tried, I tried. Ah! You cannot even deny it! Look at you! You disgust me! Melvin! Your sister! Ah! I... I try to stop it, okay? And, uh, I, I mean, Carol kept behaving like she was going to drop dead the, the, the next minute I stopped it. I, I've been caught up in this web of immorality for the longest of time, Kamsi. Not until I met you. And I swear to God, everything about my life has changed since then. <laughs> I don't even know what to tell you right now. I have no words for you. My head is blank. My skin is itching. This is disgusting. I, I, I know you must hate me right now, okay? I'm, I'm even oh, glad that God. you haven't walked out of this miracle. At least you're still here with me. Do your parents know? They're the first to find out. If my parents do, they will die of a heart attack. Marvin, you, your sister, both of you, you need help. You need rehab. You need to see a therapist. You need something, anything, because this is... I'll do anything. Hey! I'll do anything. All right? I'll do anything to be deserving of you. I'll do anything to prove how much I love you. I'll go to the rehab. I'll, I'll see a therapist. I'll do anything comes in because I, I love you. Don't touch me! Don't you dare touch me. Please don't leave me. It's because of you that, ah. I, that, 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 I, that I changed, okay? It's because you came into my life that I'm this way now. Please, because of you, I'm a changed man. Please don't leave me. Come see. Take me home, please. Come see, listen, listen, listen to me. Come see. Take me home. Okay. 
I don't want to hear one word from you again. Just take me home, please. All right, I will. I thought I got rid of you. Well, I don't care easy. I have what I want. Well, you can't have this one because... Because it's taken by his sister. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. I don't know what sick thing happened between you two in the past, but Melvin is trying to be a better person. Don't destroy him. Carol, you should be ashamed of yourself. How dare you? How dare you talk to me in that manner? Oh, you told me everything. Yes, he told me because he's trying to be a changed person. He's trying to do better with his life and you should do so with yours too. Stop trying to destroy him. <laughs> I cannot even imagine that a day would come when I will fight over my man with his sister who is in love with him. Now that is sickening. Oh, shut up and get out. <laughs> Poor you. You should be ashamed of yourself. You really should be. Can you just please leave? Mm -mm. <laughs> you really should be ashamed of yourself. Melvin! Huh? How dare you disrespect my son's memory like that? Uh, uh. Ma, I'm not lying. I have no reason to lie to you. I love Mervyn. He was the love of my life and I was ready to stick with him. Even after you told me about Elise's relationship between him and his sister. Shut up, young girl. Shut up. I don't know what you're up to. But if this is a way of exonerating yourself from the murder of my son, then you've got something else coming. You, you, you idiot. I did not kill Mervyn. I did not kill yourself. It's not obvious. That you heard about my daughter's condition. So you came here to make up lies against she and her brother. No. Carol. Uh, what's wrong uh, with you, Kevin? Uh, uh, Kevin? Carol, what's wrong with you? I, 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 I remember. Uh, I... What? Carol? What's happening? Why are there so many policemen outside the gates? I Carol! I was so mean. Master, what's going on? Carol? I, I remember. Carol. I don't know. I remember. Carol. Carol! What have you done? Are you out of your mind? Are you okay, Carol? Don't play dumb with me. What do you mean? You told her! Is something wrong with you? I had to, okay? She caught me at the wrong time. I couldn't deny it. I don't want to lose Kamsi. I love her. You love her? What about me? Carol, you're my sister. Whatever happened between us was a mistake. And I wish I could turn back the hands of time and make things right. Melvin, you do not mean that. You don't. Listen, I do, okay? I mean, just look at us. Our life is a total mess. We need help. We don't need help. Honestly, this girl has got you sick in the head. What we share is special, Melvin. No, it's not. It's sick and it's disgusting and I'm tired of it all. This needs to stop, okay? Melvin! Mel Melvin, you can't just walk out on me like that. Melvin! Wait a minute. I don't, I don't understand what I just said. You were sleeping with your brother? All this was happening under our noses and we had no idea. Oh, oh Dad, I, I, you guys were always going on trips. Business trips, you come home late and you go to work early. Myself and Melvin, we were always at home alone. The first time Melvin came on to me, I tried, I tried to talk. Why didn't you say something? I did, you shut me out. You did. I... Oh my God, such an atrocity was... <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my God, I had just one job, one job to take out to treatment. I failed. I failed. <laughs> That's not everything. Go on. Tell them. Tell them how you murdered your brother because he wouldn't leave me and in love with you. Tell them! Carol, you. you killed Melvin. Please, Carol. Tell me. Tell me it's not true. Tell me. <laughs> I wish I 
can tell you it's not true. I wish. <laughs> I wish. When you say it like that, you make it sound like such a bad thing. No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. I only said that because in all my life, I've practically been with my parents. I've never really had the need to move out, except for when I was in university, of course. Hmm. Well, I'm glad there is a need now. And I'm happy you're taking this serious and listening to your therapist. Well, I'm also glad I met you. You made me a better man, and... Uh... <laughs> you are such a big baby, Melvin. You know, uh, can we continue this conversation on Thursday when we see? Even though I hate it that I have to wait till Thursday. <laughs> and I love you. I love you too. Yeah. Hi. What are you doing here? How did you find me? I was just supposed to be with Dad in Abuja over the board meeting. Yes, I took an early flight home, okay? I wanted to speak with you. Okay, you know what? I, I really don't want to talk. Just go home. Kamzi will be here in a minute. Look, do not propose to Kamzi, okay? She's not the right person for you. And who is? You? You know what, uh, Karu? I don't want to talk about this right now. Go home this minute. Melvin, I, I, I love you. Karu, stop this! I can't, okay? I can't. I've tried. I've tried to hide it, but I, I, I can't. I'm in love with you. But and this was all your fault. Know, you right, you started all yes. of this and I cannot live without you. Good. Good. I know this was all my fault. And I'm so sorry. I am deeply oh, sorry, okay? Oh. We were young and stupid. We didn't know what we were doing. I didn't know what I was doing. Okay, fine. Let, let, let's, let's elope together. Let, let, let's go somewhere new. Start afresh. We don't know that we are brothers and sisters. Please, Cara, what I, has ca come I over cannot you? live without you. Th th this is madness. What, what has come over you? You know what? This is not happening, all right? Go home. I'm not eloping with you. No way. I love Kamsi. If and you wanna... Karu? Look, if I can't have you, no one Karu, else will. You, you, you're gonna hurt someone. You're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna hurt someone. <laughs> person you are. I said you're a good person. You don't deserve all of this. I'm yeah, sorry. You're right. I don't. Please, I'm out. <laughs> Carol. <laughs> Carol. <laughs> how could you? How could you have murdered your brother? <laughs> out of disgusting lust, you killed my son. <laughs> and you framed an innocent lady. You are a demon. <laughs> That. You don't deserve to call me that. <laughs> you are a demon! Miss Carol Johnson, 
You are here under arrest for the murder of late Mr. Marvin Johnson, an attempted murder of Miss Kamsin DK. No! Love that you're silent, but whatever you say, we'll use against you. Mom, Mom, Dad. Love that you're not on the floor, I've won the court, you get you. Mom, Mom, Dad, 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 no. I have no matter to move, so please stand up and move. Officer, move away. No, 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 no,
found love in you. I thought I found everything I need. There's nothing I won't do for you, baby. You came like an angel, baby. You're the special woman I need. You meant the world to me. Special woman I need. You meant the world to me.